Hello and welcome to another Fallout 4 video. I am Freysna and this video I'm actually not building anything. Uh, I just wanted to show off this little treehouse that I built just for fun and later we will have a bit of some zombie killing excitement. Uh, so we'll just jump right on in. Okay, so this little treehouse is actually located just, I want to say, either north or south, I honestly can't remember, of Tin Pines Bluff. Um, I managed to build it here thanks to a mod that I have. And it basically just, I don't know, the location was really good, I thought. It's right next to a giant um, pit that maybe was a landfill or something at one point, I'm not really sure. Um, I just wanted to find a spot that had a decent amount of trees nearby that didn't have a lot of leaves so I wouldn't have to worry about that when I was building around it. You know, it was kind of difficult to find something like that so, you know, my tree houses, they're a bit more like um, little shacks on stilts, I guess. Uh, but they, I, I think in terms of lore and if you were actually going to have someone here living in them, they would be pretty cool. You know, they're, they're off the ground, so we only got one way in and out to um, watch, so to speak, unless you are fighting someone who has uh, Molotovs or something else that could very easily destroy a treehouse. But, um, but yeah, just look at that view. That has got to be one of the coolest views I've seen um, just, you know, out, in the, out traveling. Um, but yeah, this little this little first treehouse we're in is actually the workshop area. Um, it's a workshop and kind of like a scenic over or overview, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can see they got some of those little fancy hanging bottles full of mysterious glowing pee, I guess. <laughs> uh, but here is this little workshop area. I did really like the idea of having it kind of closed off from the elements and stuff. Um, I realize it's a bit weird to have that that thing right there that the fire burning in it inside of a wood tree house, but you gotta use your creativity a little bit, I guess. Uh, now that we have looked at this, we'll go ahead and go over to the full tree house. Um, uh, also, when I got here, there were so many like dogs and stuff I had to put down. It was kind of sad. There's my little flamingo buddies. Uh, but here's the little entryway platform with the spotlight so you can see everything at night. There's the giant pit that I don't know what that was. You know, there's a dead death claw down there too. That was exciting. And just across this bridge right here we will get to the I guess technically second guard post. There was one over by the um, workshop area too with some ammo and stuff sitting outside also a nice little view and we will go into the house next it is really small um, but you know you, you, if it's a tree house you can't exactly have a mansion so you kind of got to work with what you have nice little nuka nuka girl poster outside and there's Ellen um, just chilling in the house for some reason. I'll go ahead and shut the door and we'll go over and look at the little sitting area and bedroom first. So it's a nice cozy little place. Got a TV, a nice a vase, a bookshelf with some fancy things on it, clothes and all sorts of goodies. A picture of a cat, of course, because I love cats. Um, Another picture of cats over there. There might be one on the table too, actually. There's a lot of cats. I like cats. Um, at this point, it started to actually rain while I was recording this, and it was a good point to show off that spot in the roof where I thought that it might be nice to have that little gap right there um, to kind of let that one tree piece go through. As you can see, there's a lot of leaves poking through the ground too. I didn't really know what to do about that, so it's kind of built around it. But I don't think it hinders it too much. It's just a little awkward to see. Like trees all up in your face. Yeah, here's a nice little uh, kitchen area. I thought that maybe, you know, lore-wise, they might find those uh, appliances and stuff down in that garbage heap right nearby. Um, but yeah, that's a little house. And now let's go upstairs to the 
deck, I guess you might call it. Um, you can see the one source of energy too is that windmill. I thought it kind of fit in with the nice little treehouse theme. A little seat with an umbrella, a light, and just a good way to keep the back watched. Um, but yeah, that is, I want to say, basically the entire tour. So now that the tour's over, what I'm going to do next is kind of show this montage of me shooting some zombies that showed up. Just I thought, thought you know, why not? It's kind of fun. Um, it does get kind of loud, so just brace yourself. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. So there was my little treehouse and a nice, exciting zombie montage. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I had lots of fun doing this, and peace out.